My name is Kim Inglis. My wife, Melania, and daughters, Claudia and Logan, were killed in a car crash in January 2010. Claudia was 10 and Logan was 7. Um, that particular morning I got up and, and left early. Everyone was still still asleep. I gave, um, gave them all a kiss, kiss goodbye and, and, and left for work. Obviously not knowing that uh, I'd never see them alive again. Uh, I got a phone call early afternoon from my sister to say that Melania and the girls hadn't turned up for their appointment and did I know where they were. My sister had tried calling her a number of times and I just went to the message bank. And I had this really uneasy feeling in my stomach that something just wasn't, wasn't quite right. I remember asking the police officer who had died and at that stage he said they had all, they had all died in that crash. It's hard to actually explain what goes through um, what goes through your mind when when you're told that your family has died in a crash is with you all the time and there's just so many reminders of, of what you've lost. There's not a day that doesn't go by where some part of that day isn't occupied in, in reflecting and, and thinking about the girls. The day before was a catastrophic fire day. Um, so we had uh, loaded up the back of the car with photos and DVDs of family holidays. Unfortunately, um, a lot of those got destroyed um, in the crash. It's not something that suddenly goes away. It's people having to, having to live and deal with this literally for the rest of their lives. Just, um, just think about the risks that you take on the road. You get to choose that particular risk, but what you don't get to choose is the consequences.